Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to show and explain you a really nice trick how you can turn on the ABAP debugger dynamically so based on one switch or a debugging area so this is basically a custom solution that you can use here I have already prepared one sample program so basically the having the possibility to enter one parameter and based of this parameter output one concatenated string on the screen if we execute this and type in one parameter then we can directly see the outcome and here right now i would like to basically yeah um, implement my custom solution so the debugging area the switch the dynamic other breakpoint and therefore i would like to create an endless loop, an infinitive loop, and therefore I'm using the doop, do loop without any conditions. So only exit can exit this do loop. Instead, there would be an endless loop, and you have to terminate to cancel this program manually. And therefore, if we open up in another window the se 11 so the ABAP dictionary i have already create one custom table consisting basically of four components four attributes and those two are the most important ones so the debug area itself and the value and if we have a closer look in there then we can see that i have already created one so set underscore test and it's currently turned off so the value is empty and therefore this switch is turned off if we go in here so what do we have to do to use this switch within the do and do so every time it's looping over this loop we are doing a select single and then value so the switch itself from set debug area and here you have to I use your custom table and then I'm using the inline declaration so add data and then for example LV uh, debug um, active and then it's important where the debug area is equal to set test and if the LV debug area is initial, so if it's empty, then basically we will reach the exit. Of course, depending on your setting, you could also do, for example, if the debug area doesn't exist, so if SY sub RC uh, not equals to zero. Um, so depending of those two settings, so really make sure that this select is right so even though in the meantime the entry um, is erased then um, yeah you can have also the possibility to to exit this so but basically i'm um, going out of this and i just would like to use my value so i'm um, shift f1 control f2 control f three so once again it's turned off currently we can double proof this here and um, activate this it's turned off and if we execute this then we can see now debugger has been started and if we basically uh, go into the data browser select this and change this now to x and save this so now it's setting to X and now activate this. Then we can see that this program is running into this loop. And now we have this endless loop because we can see that there's a loading bar and nothing is really happening. How can we basically now debug our program? It's easy as you think to. And therefore we need to go to a, another transaction and it's the SM. 50 transaction and once you've opened this up then you will see the overview of your work process and here we can basically see that we are using this um, work process if you're not uh, familiar if you have a lot of lists then you can also um, switch to the active work processes 
and here we can now see um, our program also based on our user and now you have to choose administration and program and then debugging debug the selected program yes and now basically you are reaching the program you can analyze it you can jump for example over depending on your requirements you go to statement also to get out of this um, but how you can also get out so let's go once again okay we can't jump so f8 let's start this once again so once again sm50 we are already there administration program debugging debugging the selected programming yes how you can also get out of this so you can basically now go, go once again to your debug area to your custom solution and you have to change this and you have to set this to inactive so remove this flag and if i now f8 then i'm also out of the program so basically implementing such a solution within your coding is nice to have and it will just be activated if you intend to do so so yeah if you have any questions left please put them in the comment sections please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and see you in the next video